When one side launches nuclear missiles, the other side detects them and fires back before impact. U.S. submarine-launched ballistic missiles from west of Norway start striking Russia after about 10 minutes, and Russian ones from north of Canada start hitting the U.S. a few minutes later. The very first strikes are high-altitude EMP attacks, frying electronics and power grids by creating an electromagnetic pulse of tens of thousands of volts per meter. The next strikes target command and control, as well as nuclear launch facilities. Land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles take about half an hour to arrive. Each impact creates a fireball about as hot as the core of the sun, followed by a radioactive mushroom cloud. These intense explosions vaporize people nearby and cause fires and blindness further away. The fireball expansion then causes a blast wave that damages buildings, crushing nearby ones. The United Kingdom and France have nuclear capabilities and are obliged by NATO's Article 5 to defend the U.S. So Russia hits them too. Firestorms engulf many cities. The Hiroshima atomic bomb caused such a firestorm. But today's hydrogen bombs are much more powerful. A large city like Moscow, with almost 50 times more people, can create much more smoke. Out as hot as the core of the... Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule and teach well. And as always, peace, love, many blessings unto the elect. It's the brother Atazawa. I'm coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai with another lesson. And Lord willing, I do hope and pray that it's edifying. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled, My Sword Shall Be Bathed in Heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and I just played this video uh, that showed a simulation of what a nuclear trade-off between Russia and America would uh, sort of look like. And it gave some uh, very um, descriptive outcomes of a, a nuclear war between two of these uh the, the, these super giants okay these super countries all right and um basically you know to just bring it all the way home this is all biblical prophecy at the end of the day all right the bible has already established the fate of america okay and the fate of america is is going to end up in a nuclear uh war okay that's going to be the fate of america nuclear war all right and uh they're going to lose they're going to be on the losing end okay so this is uh this thing is getting ready to take a turn for the worse for you americans man okay now you see what's going on an elder apostle tahar just dropped a video entitled uh keep your eyes on the middle east and it's uh the lord is stirring it up okay the lord is stirring up the pot uh to bring about this final prophecy which is um world war three now prior to world war three um or the nuclear aspect of world war three before that happens um you know we have to be on the lookout for the motb which is already um being stirred up as well okay i seen a, um a recent article where it says thousands of people are registering to, to be uh implanted so um you know these things are, are are being fulfilled man okay the prophecies written in the scriptures are being fulfilled so I'll, it is the prophecy i want to deal with today is um when the scriptures say that my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Okay, now the sword <clears throat> that it's talking about, like I mentioned earlier, is a nuclear missile. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get into the scriptures. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm kind of coming down with a um, with a little something, man. But, you know, it'll be all good. Lord willing, I, you know, this lesson is edifying. Um, I'm going to read uh, Isaiah 34, and I'm going to start at verse 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. So the Lord, <coughs> Salaki, the Lord is not on Russia's side. Okay, Russia is not going to be the victor. The Lord is not, you know, uh, um, defending China. China is not going to be the winner of World War Three. The Lord is just using all of these other nations to bring about his final judgment okay so it's going to be every 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 nation is going to fall after um you know this nuclear trade-off man 
Because the Lord's indignation is upon all of them, man. None of these people are right in the sight of Yah in the sight of Yahweh Okay, verse three: Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountain shall be melted with their blood. So it's going to be mass death in the planet Earth. That's why one of the uh, the jobs uh, of the uh, the slaves when the uh, elect comes back down off the chariots, one of the first jobs that um we're going to uh, employ these other nations is cleaning up the earth of all the dead bodies because like the scripture just said their slain shall be cast out so there but there's going to be bodies all over the goddamn place if you look at uh if you if you could get a vivid video of what's been going on in gaza uh to those palestinians uh it was it's, it's just bodies all over the goddamn place man and you can't let those bodies <clears throat> just sit out in the open because it'll rot and it'll leave a stinking smell. Okay? So people got to go through those buildings and, you know, pull out all those dead bodies and try to get them properly uh, uh, buried or disposed of. So that's, what, that's what's going to happen in the coming times. There's going to be dead bodies cast out all over the street. Because the Lord is bringing his indignation and his judgment into the planet Earth. Okay? It says, uh, verse 4, And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. Okay? Now the host represents armies. OK, so all the armies of, of heaven. Now, you know, now we know that that heaven is a uh, twofold. OK, heaven is actually, you know, talking about it could be talking about the skies or the firmament, but also it deals with um, rulership. OK, because when you're in power, that's a that's a, a high position among people, which is a heaven. OK. It's rulership or, 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 or power. OK, so the armies. Of uh, these other nations, um, are they're gonna be they're gonna be dissolved, okay? And even their their um <clears throat> their uh air air force uh, branches, you know, because like the scriptures tell us, you know that I, Michael and his and the, and the, uh, the archangel and Satan and his angels shall fight, and it tells us in uh, the book of uh, Second Ezra's thirteen chapter it speaks about. The uh, fight in, in the heavens between Yahweh Shah, the angels, and um, you know the Air Force, Space Force, and these other nations. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so it says, um, verse four again, and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. So if you saw that video I just played, you will see that mushroom cloud forming after the initial contact of the missile. Okay, when the missile hit that ground. You know, it, it, it creates a, uh, a sonic blast where you see, you know, the, the wind shoot out first from the uh, center of the contact. And then uh, you'll see a mushroom cloud ascend up into the heavens. OK. That's what that's talking about. The, 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 the heavens being rolled together like a scroll, man. OK. And all their hosts shall fall down. Yeah. So all the armies that's fighting in in the third world's war they're going to be cast down man see this is the final this is the final war of all nations man so the 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 the, the cherry on top of uh, of the of the cake is going to be everybody every nation is going to fall after this and the and in israel the tabernacle of david is going to rise and take hold of the the, the rulership in the planet earth so this is where this is the direction in which Yahweh Bashimah Shah is leading us. Okay? Alright, and it says, um, and their host shall fall down as the leaf falleth from off the vine, and as a falling fig from the tree. And uh when the leaf falleth off the vine, man, it, it doesn't take much to get a leaf to fall when it's when it's uh when it's ripe and ready. Okay? Nothing is pulling at that leaf, you know, no, nothing is uh tugging at it and forcing it off that vine. But just a slight, um, you know, wind current could break that uh, that leaf from the vine because it's ready, it's ready to fall. And that's America in a nutshell. OK. One situation is going to cause a, a, a total collapse of Babylon the Great because it's ready. It's, be, it's been made ready. It's ripe. OK. To where you don't have to force it off the vine. It's just going to fall. Uh, um, by default, because you know it, it's, it's just been it's just been prepared to fall. Okay, verse five. 
And this is where the point is at. I'm dealing with the video that I played. <clears throat> For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. And you saw that when all those missiles was in the sky. There was, there's going to be millions and millions of missiles that's going to be let off in the space of about an hour or so. The scripture say my judgment shall come uh, within an hour. Okay, so let's get that word bathed. All right, it's a rawa. Okay, rawa. All right, and it says to be satiated or saturated. Have or drink one's fill. To be drunk, intoxicated, to drench water abundantly, to saturate, cause to drink. Okay, so in other words, you know, the skies, when you look into the sky, when those missiles let off, it's, it's, it's going to seem as if the, the skies are, are doused in missiles. Like the brother Abu Baja said yesterday at camp, like, you know, glazed, like he was speaking about the sins of uh, our people. And he said the sins of um, Israel is all on them like like glaze on the uh, on the uh, a, a fucking Krispy Kreme donut, man. <laughs> Just all over. So it's the same way that the, 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 the missiles are being described. It's going to be uh, uh, saturated, satiated in the skies. That means it's going to be a lot because the judgment that's coming to America is extreme. The Lord said that he's, he's going to lay this place even to the dust. He's not going to leave one stone upon another. The mountains are going to melt and be made to chaff. So you got to think about all these hard elements and mountains and different regions with canyons and hills and, you know, valleys. All of that is going to be laid flat. So that's going to that's going to take a lot of missiles to do that. OK. <clears throat> it says, um, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. So a sword, if, if we're talking about an ancient sword, a sword, how's how's an ancient sword going to be in the sky? Okay. So so the the Russia's going to throw a whole bunch of uh, uh ketones at America and it's going to come down only to America and knock everything. No, that's talking about the missiles. Okay? It says it shall come down upon Idumia, which we know Idumia is the people of Edom. That's the Greek way of saying Edom. You know here, you know in uh the book of Isaiah, you, you'll see Idumia, which is a Greek word, but it was uh, put in there by the Septuagint. Okay? And it says, And upon the people of my curse to judgment, verse 6, The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and the, with the fat of kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra, which Basra was an Edomite city. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's, let's, let's get into it. Let's look into it. This is how you know that the judgment is going to come down upon Edom. Okay. Basra. It says what? A town in Edom. And a town in Moab. So it's twofold because the uh, the sword is going to come down on, on the Chinese people too. Okay. And a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. All right. So there's going to be a great slaughter that the Lord is going to bring uh, to this place, man. And um, that's why we got to continue to watch prophecy <coughs> and see what's kicking off over in, um, in the Middle East. Because it's going to it's going to eventually it's going to come to American borders. OK. This is the book of Second Edges 16. And I'm going to start at verse um, for. Uh, let me see. Start at verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. Now, who is that? Who is the right hand that bendeth the bow? Primarily the Russians. Okay? But there's going to be other hosts, which, like I mentioned earlier, the word host means armies. So there's going to be other armies that are going to join forces with the Russians. Um, for example, Brazil, China, India. South America, Libya, Egypt, Turkey, okay, American, certain American allies, as in Italy and France, Great Britain, they're, they're going to turn on America, man, okay, 
They're going to turn on this place. Everybody's going to turn on this place and light it up. Because that's the will of the Heavenly Father. Okay? It says, um, <clears throat> For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So we're dealing with an ancient arrow, bow and arrow. Um, you can't shoot a bow and arrow from one end of the earth to the other. It'll only project uh, but so far. When we talk about a missile, you could you, you there's missiles that can travel six seven thousand miles, bro. There's missiles that can travel three thousand miles. There's missiles that can uh, circumnavigate the globe. <laughs> you know, so that, that that's how you know that this this is a missile scripture. Okay, that's the missile scripture because it's going to be shot into the ends of the earth. Okay. Verse 14, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return until they come upon the earth. So those plagues, one of those plagues is, uh, like, like I said, a nuclear holocaust. America is going to be unrecognizable to the point to where no man is going to be able to step foot on American soil ever again. But it shall be a memorial uh, unto the world as a judgment, as the judgment of Yahweh Basham Shai. Okay. It's going to be a haven for unclean animals and bugs. Okay? Mankind will never dwell in the, uh, in the soil of America after the, the missiles hit. And anybody that's over here on this side of the world, uh, if you're not delivered by your how about Shema was shy, you're going to die. If you're an Edomite in America, and you, don't, you, you better get, hey man, you other nations, y'all better get the hell up out of here. Y'all better get y'all visas and try to, y'all better go b b become a legal immigrant some goddamn where. <clears throat> you know? Because if you an Edomite or a heathen, for that matter, and you in, in America, and they shut them borders down, your ass, you just as good as dead. Because the Lord is not coming to deliver a single heathen. Salvation doesn't pertain to the other nations. It pertains to the house of Israel. Starting with the 144,000 and the one-third tabernacle of David and the peaceable multitude, the innumerable multitude scattered around the four winds. That's who salvation pertains to. So if you're here in America, you may want to think about getting the hell on, man. There's nothing you can do about this. Okay? So when those missiles come out them silos from these other countries, they're not, they're not turning around. And going back. Okay. Verse 15. The fire is kindled and, and shall not be put out. So there's nothing you can do. You can't put out this great judgment that's coming to the world. Because the Lord is stirring it up. It's not it's not of man. Okay. The script, well, man, matter of fact, let me get it real quick. Okay. Let me get this quick scripture. Isaiah 13 <clears throat> and 4. It says, The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. And that's what's going on right now in the Middle East. All right. Every all these nations are converging um, into the valley of Yahweh Shapat, Yahweh's judgment. You see all these militaries now, they shipping they um they shipping their military um uh equipment, vehicles and you know, personnel, all, they're all being maneuvered over to that Middle East, going to the Mediterranean Sea, or they're going into that, uh, the Persian Gulf, Strait of Hormuz, okay, they're going, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia, they're positioning themselves in the valley of the Lord's judgment, Yahweh, okay, it says, um, the Lord of hosts, mustereth the host of the battle. So it's the Lord that's stirring it up. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is stirring this thing up, man. He's stirring the pot. That's why the scriptures tell us, uh, um, seeing all these things shall be melted with fervent heat. The elements shall be melted with fervent heat. It says, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, man? So we seeing these things happening, you know, we supposed to be getting on our square. 
spiritually, you know, walking in a more excellent, dignified spirit, you know, doing the work, repenting, you know, exercising brotherly love and kindness and faith and meekness, patience, you know, preparing ourselves to, to, to meet um, Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay. Verse five, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So the Lord is, 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 has created an actual weapon for his anger, which is the missile. But he gave the technology to the Edomites because they're his weapon. They're his, the Edomites are the Lord's weapon in human form. Let the Lord swore in the form of human beings. Okay? Or mankind, should I say. So, so they've created it as a projectile that has a rocket launcher. And they can launch these uh, projectiles from one side of the world to the other. And it is packed with um, different resources from the periodic table of elements. Plutonium, uranium, and all other sorts of, uh, you know, elements, okay? And, um, and through, the, through the process of nuclear fusion and nuclear fission, they've uh, been able to uh, split the atom, which at one point in time, scientists said that it was impossible, but they figured out how to split the atom through, uh, through uh, physics, you know? You see that movie Oppenheimer, you'll see... You know, the, the, the diligent uh, effort that J. Robert Oppenheimer and his team took to, uh, to, you know, pretty much master that process of nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. And once they mastered that, they became his death. And they were, they were able to, to create it as a projectile to shoot it from one end of the earth to the other. So this is all the Lord's uh, technology that, that he gave Satan and Satan gave it to Esau. Okay. Verse 6, how ye, okay, it's like it says to destroy the whole land. Yeah, because the whole land of America is going to be destroyed. It says, how ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. So we, we going into it, man. We going, in, we going, to, we going into this thing, but the, the, remember the, the remnant, the elect shall be delivered out of this, man. And if you're here and you're not of the elect, by the time those missiles are launched and you took that, that, uh, that device, you 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 just as good as dead, man. Okay, so Lord willing, you brothers and sisters found that lesson edifying. Okay, I want to share that video, you know, as a visual, um, to show you the 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 massive amount of judgment that Yahweh Bashimah was shy is about to rain down on this place. So Lord willing, that was edifying to the next lesson, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashimah was shy. Double honors once again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, honors, and blessings to the elect. Start with 144,000 and one third. Shalom.